Hi. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the progress made during the 5th and 6th sprints of the Hydra in a Box August through November work cycle. This is a little bit late due to a Hydra in a Box project meeting and an all week Penn State sprint last week. So apologies for that. Now what I'm going to be showing you today is the new homepage layout and some functionality that deepens support for administrative collections. So to start, let's talk about the new homepage layout. So what you see here is coming straight out of Sufia, and this new layout represents the best parts of what the Sufia user interface working group came up with, plus hooks that we need to implement the Hydra in a Box layout, as I showed in our previous demo video. Do note that this work is in progress, it's, it's not final, um, and that some work was put towards this last week at the Penn State developer event. So you'll see more changes coming uh, soon in the coming, coming sprint videos. One of the features of the new layout is the reconfiguration of some of the home page features like the about page, the help page, and the content page, contact page, excuse me. Otherwise you'll see a lot of familiar elements. An additional point about the home page layout, this banner image here across the upper center part of the screen is now configurable. Currently the configuration mechanism is in a config file. This is one of the things we'll be working on soon is pulling that into the, the settings user interface so that you can specify a banner image um, interactively in the, in the UI. All right, I'm going to show you some new functionality around administrative collections or what we've called at administrative sets or admin sets. I'm going to start by going into the administration dashboard, the admin dashboard, and creating a new administrative set. Alright, so I'm going to click on the administrative sets portion and I'll create a new admin set. And I will add a description for the admin set. All right, that is now created. I'm going to go ahead and, and well, now you're seeing a list of all the admin sets. It has a number of the widgets that you would expect to see, such as the ability to show a number of entries, uh, to paginate, and to search across all the different admin sets. So I'm going to click on it. This is the view for showing an admin set. This is very early. This doesn't look like what we want it to look like at the moment. This is just a demonstration of the functionality. So this needs some, some UI optimization. You can see the beginning of showing an administrative set here. I'm going to go ahead and edit it by adding some more description. And there we go. There that is. So you see the basic new views around creating new admin sets, listing them, showing them, and editing them are in place, um, some of them in progress within the, the administrative dashboard. So that's there. Now that the administrative set is there, you'll see that it's rendering in the home page. So there's also uh, hooks for, for the public user. Note that admin sets currently are created, uh, they're public, publicly readable at the moment. So as soon as you create them, they're accessible by all users of your site. We can make this configurable in later releases. So you can see a new widget in the home page that says Explore Collections. There's currently no thumbnail for this. That's why we're seeing a default blue folder icon in practice administrative sets should have their own thumbnails and that will look nicer trust me I'll show that coming soon so you can see a list of of collections here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click one so here's again the show view that shows it off and this is the same template which is why it still needs a little bit of work here 
but you can see it displaying the metadata that I tagged it with. It shows the creator, the total number of items in it, which is currently zero, and it shows all the works that are in the collection. And this is the list view that shows you, the public user, all of the administrative collections in the site. So it gives you some of the same metadata and thumbnail icon and then shows you what works are in it, what languages are applied to those works, and what the creation date for those administrative collections are. So we've got a bit more work to do on administrative sets, but this was all new work during the 10 days of those two sprints that I mentioned, so I definitely wanted to get this uh, in front of you so you could see the work that we're doing. I'll be producing another demo video towards the end of this week, because so many of us have been traveling so much the past uh, week and a half, we may not have very much to demonstrate, but we're really looking forward to showing you the work that we've done on the Hydra in a Box project and talking with you folks at Hydra Connect next week in Boston. So thanks for tuning in, and thank you.